Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where today we will be continuing our Japanese campaign. <clears throat> and we are starting off with two minor battles. Well, one minor battle, I'd say, and one, well, medium battle, I suppose. And especially the last one will hopefully be a fun one. So without much further ado, let's dive straight in. Defend me, convoy. And see what we can see. The Haku is leading the charge. The Nachi is behind her. And the Kashimari is in the rear of the formation. My ships, I'm not in a rush, so let's go to 15 knots. We have engaged the enemy. They are close. They are far closer than anticipated. Um, you detach. You two prepare to broadside. Light cruiser, continue your turn. We took a hit. We took a hit. Oh no! 183 damage. 84, 85. Yeah, she's burning all right. But by now, my other cruisers will be able to broadside. And this monster is still closing in with her frontal 6-inch guns. Swap to AP on the 6-inchers, please. A light cruiser turn. Alright. Done what you came here to do. Score the hit. Let she close in again. Oof! Now that was a heavy hit. What's the armor on this ship? Six inch. Come on. Now oh, fifty percent penning chance. Yeah. Unlucky. Twelve knots, please. Fuel status, 77%. Light cruiser close in. And this ship, I want to reverse her. That's the whole idea of this ship, after all. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. I do not know if I'll damage my engine. But I'm going to reverse her. She's come to a complete stop. And she's reversing. Good. <clears throat> I'm using tactics. But, oh, look at that. So many debuffs. It's not even funny. Seriously, though. Less debuffs, please. Fired 800 shells. And less than 50 hit the target. Light cruiser disengage, please. The enemy light heavy cruiser is coming a bit too close. You guys continue harassing this heavy cruiser. Enemy ships are not moving. Why are they not moving? It's a bit sad, really. Whoops. Don't do that. Alright. Light cruiser come about. Stop reversing. And move back in again. Seven knots will be fine. That she doesn't know what to do, what direction to go in. Two knots, one knot, and she is once again going straight ahead. Boom! Another flooding. This might be her doom. 
After that, let's see. No, she will survive. No, not I. I will survive. Not she target this ship here. Let's make sure we do not get any debuffs from shooting the same targets anymore. Each ship has her own targets to deal with. <clears throat> Do you have torpedoes? Yes, you do. Gotta keep that in mind. You don't. But you are charging in, and I do not like ships charging me. So, let's for a moment focus firing them. A flooding? Eight inch guns. Oof, nasty. I'm using six inchers and seven inchers here. Should I upgrade the guns of my cruisers? Hmm. My god, no. No, I don't think I will. Not yet, anyway. A torpedo detonation sealed her fate. Good. And reverse. Oh, come on. Now you damage your engines? You're at seven knots. How do you damage your engines? Come on. If I, if I was going at full speed, yeah, then it's understandable. But this? No way. Uh. If this happens even at seven knots, then makes you wonder if it's even worth it trying that tactic. That's that. The enemy is slowly being picked apart. These two ships are almost gone. One engine is repaired. Supposed to other one is still damaged though. Light cruisers, heavy cruisers come about. And you stop reversing. I wonder if she will be able to fix her engine up. And my fuel status is 45%. So that is acceptable. I do not know the fuel status of the enemy ships. So I, I can see it either. I hope. It would be kind of sad if I could see it. Bad enough that I can see all these statistics of the enemy ships. You really shouldn't be able to see all that. No, you know, you could should be able to see a few things, like, you know, the gun calibers, sure, but the components, no. You shouldn't be able to just spot that, in my opinion. Even though it helps a lot. Same with the armor, you should be, you should hit the enemy ships a couple of dozen times before the game should be able to give you an estimate of the enemy armor. That would be way better, I think. And once you have, you know, an enemy ship class and you have detected, well, estimated the armor uh, thickness of the enemy ship, then sure, then it's fine to. Um, see it at the start of the battle, but otherwise, nah, they shouldn't. They really shouldn't. 
Also, I'm letting this ship get away. Damn it. That wasn't my uh, intention. Light cruiser, I had flank. Oh. 18 knots, let's go. Use whatever fuel you have left and get going. And by the time you've passed this ship, you should have been able to pull, punch some holes in it, right? some floodings. Well, yeah, I fucked this, ga uh, this game up. The enemy heavy cruiser is getting away. Let's focus on killing this one instead. I knew I should have targeted it earlier. But then, um, the damaged ships showed a lovely broadside and I was like yeah let's change targets a bad call to make you on the other hand will not escape my wrath even though my ships are running low on fuel Please, that should be more than enough. Yeah, she's only doing six knots. And the Haku finally managed to turn. A lot of damage was done with her three inches. Six inches, not so much, I think. 1600 damage. Fairly disappointing. But I am overall disappointed with this uh, ship class. She's slow. Her guns are not doing what I want them to do. And it's too easy to damage her uh, engines when hitting the reverse button. I want a button to stop the engines. Yeah, I know, I can't, I can't stop the ship with this. But having to stop her... F oh, I guess I could try stopping her completely before reversing. It's gonna be a pain to manage, but it's doable. No water left in modern and the burn. Burn, mother, burn, burn. Yeah. Over two pay fire damage on this ship. Ouch. My light cruiser has joined the fray. Ninety-three fires, two thousand two hundred fire damage. It's mostly the three inches from the looks of it, and the one point eight inches. Do I have one point eight inch guns? No way, I have two inches. I never... Did I turn them down? 
No way. I don't think I did, did I? I should I should look it up. Because 1.8 ain't 2 inch and that is weird. Anyway, another skirmish comes to a close. Nine K damage received on this ship. Most impressive. Also, quite impressive is that she is not flooding. There we go. And goodbye. She has gotten 2.8k fire damage. Oh, nice. One ship survives. Fires received. <laughs> Ouch. Very nice, very nice. Emma remaining. Torpedo status, fuel status. Yeah. My ships are low on fuel. Even my trans transport is getting low on fuel. Hm. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me, game. For fuck's sake. Yep, she's crashed again on a post battle screen. I really gotta check uh, the forums and see if this is a known bug or if I should report it because it's happening a lot. And it's annoying. Well, holding the recording here and I'll be right back. Alright, back at it again. So, this convoy battle is bugged. Um, I'm going to auto resolve it. <laughs> oh, come on! No, 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 no. The heavy cruiser Haku is sunk. I mean,. I would have won this battle without losing my ships. Anyway, let's go to the main event, shall we? Hopefully this battle will work properly. <clears throat> Otherwise, I might actually be forced to pause the campaign until this uh, specific bug is fixed. Because I, you know, if I lose this, I'll lose the war. And not just that, but I lose most of my heavy ships. Um, fingers crossed, people. And there we have it. The enemy has more torpedo boats, more light cruisers, and more heavy battleships with at least three turrets. I'm only bringing a single battleship, but the main power in my fleet is my heavy cruisers today. Ship status. I see two, three ships that are damaged. That is annoying. The enemy is to the west. And from the looks of it, well, we have got decent enough weather. Okay. <clears throat> now let's see. You join up there. These three heavy cruisers can all do 20 knots. So you will join up with the battleship. I want a heavy cruiser group on one side of the fleet. And I want a heavy cruiser squadron on the other side of the fleet. These three will not... Scouts, but you will follow the battleship division. 
Light cruisers will steam ahead. Torpedo boats will steam ahead. Torpedo boats, please go to full speed. In fact, all ships, well, 16 knots on you, that's fine. 16 knots, 16 knots. Battleship group, 16 knots. Execute. I am sailing. I am sailing. Through the cloudy weather, far away. Thank God for no ramming damage. <clears throat> now, where are my battleship... Battleship divisions? Yeah, okay. Asso, what are you doing? You follow him, you're... I have no idea. Should I detach this formation again? Yeah, I am. Battleship, detach. Means we are down three cruisers for the time being. Enemy is spotted to the northwest. We're passing them. Torpedo boats, go check it out. Light cruisers, go check it out. Heavy cruisers have finally started to move. Yeah, there are enemies to the northwest. I'm gonna send these two divisions to spot. See what I can see. The rest of the fleet will continue straight ahead. Ramming in three, two, one. Torpedo boats are at 20 knots. Enemy is to the northwest. More and more enemies are being spotted in the northwest, I feel, so I'm going to turn my formations around. Battleship will hold the flank. These heavy cruisers will start to turn in as well. Last heavy cruiser group has finally decided to get a move on. And I'll be back if I find the enemy, but I have the strange feeling they will be running. But yeah, I'll be right back. Still looking for the enemy, still unable to find them. The enemy is running away, and look at this, people. I still have five hours of fighting time remaining. My torpedo boats have run out of fuel. My light cruisers are almost out of fuel. My heavy cruisers are out of fuel. These heavy cruisers, almost out of fuel. The first ships are drying up. Out of fuel. Out of fuel. And out of fuel. Cutting the speed of my ships down to like a third. Um, there is no way I can catch an enemy. There is literally no way, even if I had a ship that would go 30 knots with the way the fuel consumption works right now, it's it's just impossible. It is impossible to find an enemy and to have engagements. Not to mention that a giant enemy fleet is retreating. I mean, come on. Beta built, I suppose. Um, however... For the time being, I am going to call an end to the Japanese campaign until this issue is fixed. Because you can't fight a battle like this. It's, it's impossible. It's impossible to fight a campaign. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for watching. 
And before I um, rage quit and end the game, I will bid you all a very fond farewell. She's done for. <laughs> all her guns have detonated.